When you're producing a video tutorial or a course lesson, many times you're faced with the need to zoom in and out the screen. That's especially useful if you're doing software tutorials and you want to magnify a region of the display that otherwise would not be very well visible. You see that I can do a software tutorial where I show you the details a little bit bigger. What I'm going to show you today is an application that is available for Windows only, sorry Mac users, and that can do both the static zoom and the live zoom functions. And it's free! I personally use OBS Studio, a free software, to create my video tutorials, including this YouTube video. If you're on OBS, then there is a way to do that, and that's through the installation of a script that's called Zoom In and Follow. I have a full tutorial on that that I'm linking in the description below. But let's say you're not using OBS, or you're struggling to have the zoom in and follow script work on OBS. Yes, it's not very straightforward and many times it gives troubles. Regardless of the screen capturing software, this is a feature that is useful in most of the cases. Zoomit is a screen zoom, annotation and recording tool for technical presentations that include application demonstrations. You can download it here and install it. Click on download Zoomit and then launch it. Let's focus on two functions. The first one is Zoom. The second one is Live Zoom. The difference between the two is that if you use Zoom, the display will zoom in, but actually it will be a static zoomed in picture of your display. And that zoomed image won't show what you're actually doing on your screen. That's instead the case if you use the Live Zoom function. There are two hotkeys associated to these functions. For Zoom, it's Ctrl-1 and for live zoom is control 4. So let's try control 1. So you see that now it's zoomed in, but actually the animation has stopped because as I was mentioning before, this is a static zoomed image. Let's now try with the live zoom function and click on control 4. Now we have a live zoom of what's happening on the screen. So say you're doing a software tutorial, you'll be able to do stuff on the zoomed version of the screen. The only downside of using Zoomit versus the Zoom In and Follow script is the customization. The OBS script allows you to define the speed for zooming in and out and gives you full flexibility on all the parameters. However, unless you really want to have control over all settings, I think that the Zoomit solution is just great. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. If you now want to know more about creating professional video tutorials with OBS, check my course. The link is in the description. Or watch this next video to become a remote presentation hero.